to get my life together. I got me a little binder and I've made my little list. I've got my little list of what I'm going to cook for the week. Probably would be Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and then Thursday, Friday, we'll eat leftovers. That might just be how it works, I'm not sure. But I did go to the grocery store and there's things that I want to make. And a lot of these are for crock pot. So that's what we're gonna do. However, I'm going to try to get it all cooked today and then refrigerate it. So that way during the week, all we have to do is heat it up. And I'm hoping that there will be enough leftovers to where we don't have to cook anymore for that rest of the week. I don't know if that's gonna happen. But um, this is just roughly, I'm writing it down. I have orange chipotle chicken. Oh my, that sounds really good. Let me go get the dogs. Most of these meals can be served with rice or over rice, or you can do whatever you want to with them. Side salad or however you want to do it. I think that's a great idea. And I love chicken, so I'm gonna eat a lot of chicken. And this, I'm gonna make these, but it may not necessarily be in this order. Cause like this chicken tortilla, tor how you say it, tortilla bake may need to go on next week's menu. We'll see, cause I didn't lay out. So I'll just cross that out. Let me go ahead and do Bavarian pot roast. And then I have Moroccan braised beef. So here are my four meals that I'm gonna plan for, for today. And we're gonna get those in crock pots and get them going because most of these all are slow cookers, crock pots. You could even do it in the Instapot and set it for like a timer. So let's get to making these and then I will, oh, I don't know how I'm gonna do this because I'm not very good at editing and recording. We'll figure it out, okay? So I'm gonna go gather ingredients and I'll be right back. For this recipe, you need chicken, but I'm gonna use chicken thighs versus chicken breasts. And I am going to double this. So I am a saucy person, so I love sauce. But you will need the following. Orange marmalade, honey, balsamic vinegar, chili powder, chipotles um, in adobo. Now, you only need like one and a half, um, teaspoons or something like that of these and I think it's easier just to get the dice chopped because I'm going to use it for multiple recipes plus you can refrigerate this after it's opening so I'm really glad I found this I got this at Walmart cornstarch granulated garlic and some canola oil so all these ingredients are here let's get I'm to it. use some crock pot liners I did I did forget to bring that in here just because I plan on cooking this and then I'm going to refrigerate the crock pot so that way too, it's an easier cleanup. I don't have to fret over having a huge mess to clean up during the week. So let me go grab those crock pot liners. I was, if you haven't got yourself some of these, I highly, highly, highly recommend you getting some. Also, I was thinking, you know how you can make a head freezer meals? Well, why not go ahead and put it in the crock pot liner and make it into a freezer meal? Just put it in the crock pot liner that you're gonna use and then put it in a freezer safe Ziploc bag. And then all you gotta do is take it out of the Ziploc bag, put it in your crock pot and let it cook for the day. I think that's a wonderful idea, but you may not, it's okay. Leave a comment below. <laughs> all right, so let me get my chicken in here. Again, it said chicken breast. I'm using chicken thighs and I am doubling this recipe. One, because I think it's gonna taste really, really good. And two, I'm excited about it. So there you go. So let's, let me, I'm gonna go ahead and plug this up. You can see in there pretty good. Yeah, we'll bring you a little closer. All right, so we need boneless, skinless chicken breast. I'm using chicken thighs, an eighth a teaspoon of 
salt, a dash of pepper. Okay, well, here we go. You know me and my pepper, so I'm going to give it some love. And then some salt. Now, here's where you're going to see a lot of my bad habits. This is issues I have within me. I am a stir, so I got to stir that. Just because I want to make sure all my chicken is kind of coated. I don't want anything to get left out of the party, as Ann Burrell would say. We want all that to marry together. And this is what I mean by having leftovers for the end of the week. So I probably should have cleaned these chicken thighs better because I didn't clean them at all, to be honest with you, but it's okay. It wouldn't be cooking with April if I didn't leave an ingredient out. So we need a quarter cup of chicken broth. I'm doubling it, so I need a half a cup of chicken broth. So you will need chicken broth for this. I don't look like a lot, but I'm gonna trust the process. One and a half teaspoons of canola oil. You know what, I'm not using oil. There's enough fat on that chicken that I'm, I'm not gonna do it. Now you do however you wanna do. It's your, your kitchen, your house. And then it says one and a half teaspoons of um, balsamic vinegar. I'm gonna measure these liquids just because some of these I am not a fan of. Goodness gracious, I can really get it. So one and a half teaspoons of balsamic vinegar. Wouldn't that be a tablespoon? Sounds good to me. This is where your arithmetic comes in play. I'm not sure that I'm using mine very knowledgeably. All right, one and a half teaspoons of mint chipotle sauce in adobo. So again, I, I am so lucky I found these. I really looked hard and, and wide. One and a half teaspoons, so I'm gonna go with two teaspoons. Uh, maybe a little more. We don't do spicy a lot. I love spicy stuff, but A half a tea, one and a half teaspoons of honey, so I'm just gonna eyeball that. This will just counteract that heat. And then we need a half a teaspoon of chili powder. So a full teaspoon. Okay. Teaspoon of garlic powder. Well, you can never go wrong with garlic. There we go. That's more. I know. You say a good God. Yeah. <laughs> we need two, uh, da, 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 two teaspoons of cornstarch. One. There's two. It's a little more. It'd be all right. I like it thick. And one tape. Wow. One tablespoon of cold water. I'm not gonna do that. Now I'm gonna mix it up. I must say, it smells divine just like this. This is what we're gonna eat today. Today is Sunday when I'm recording this, so this is what we will be eating today. Oh, I just hope I didn't put a hole in my liner. That's the only thing that I'm dangerous with. All right, I'm gonna put it on low and let it go. Again, it wouldn't be April if she didn't do something right. I forgot the orange marmalade. You need three tablespoons of orange marmalade. So here's two, that's probably three, but why not another little scoop? All right. Gotta counteract for what's left in the Spoonula, right? <laughs> All right. 
Now let's let this cook. I'm putting rice in my ricer for the chicken, chipotle, um, what was it called again? Orange chipotle chicken. I'm gonna add some adobo in there, or not, uh, chicken pollo. I love this seasoning. And then what I'm gonna do is add some pepper as well. And then I let this come to a boil before I add my rice in there. Whew, that was a lot. And go some pepper and I'm gonna, got it on to cook and I'm putting the lid on it. Just gonna bring it to a boil. I must say, this chicken is done. I don't know how it would be with chicken breast being I use chicken thighs. But oh my, I cannot wait to taste it. Look at that. Oh, I'm so excited. And I think I'm gonna have enough leftovers too. Oh, and I caught my little mistake. I only put three tablespoons of orange marmalade, which was probably a little bit more, but I should have doubled that. I ended up figuring out when I was chopping up an onion for another recipe that I didn't put six tablespoons of orange marmalade in there. So I did add more into it before um, it started cooking. But guys, I'm just gonna say, this, this smells divine. I can't wait to taste it. There we have it. That chicken, man. Oh, see the orange here? Oh, it just looks so good. Well, it is hot here, but I'm gonna enjoy this food. I'm gonna get me a fork, a can. I d I'm just gonna taste, I'm just gonna taste the chicken. Y'all know what rice tastes like. You know what rabbit tarts taste like. You either like them or you don't. Peace. Um, it's so good. That chicken is good. The, the description in the description box will be a full link. You can click on it. It's Taste of Homes. Absolutely amazing. I hope this video puts some yummy in your tummy and a smile on your heart. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.